Oops, let me see here. Hey, everybody, this is Jeffrey Jansen. This is Reaper Review, getting ready for September 8th. This is separate than everything else I'm doing. This is the Reaper Review, and let's take a look at the Reapers today. Let's see how they're coming about. Okay, so, as you can see, we got, I think that guy's going to be the first one. We got a coat back there. That'll, like I said, these guys are all going to be eaten on Sunday. And then I promised a couple my friends. They could have some. If there's any left over, first people that want them, I'll send them over to you. And then we've got new ones being grown right now. But this is the uh, Reaper Review Report. So, the Reapers are looking yummy. Okay, they're looking painful, I ain't gonna lie. All right, but I gotta move this thing, because... I wonder if Glenn's home. Oh, he's using that side. So, got the watermelon. Oh, look at that tomato here. He's getting really big. He's doing a good job. I wish he would have went through the inside, though. I wonder what that... Bending him. Can I... Yeah, if I do it, he's going to break. Probably. There we go. Got him. All right. Yeah, that, that's... Branch, I probably won't, but if I can keep him on the inside, we're doing good. So, let's go back over here to Reaper Review. And let me put the phone down so I can pull this. Because this is something I'm going to be bringing inside. Not today, not today, for all the people that are like, oh, when today? No, not today. Let's see, can you see? Okay, I gotta move this thing. I gotta, but I gotta twist him. Man, there's a lot of there. Alright, let's get him out here more in the open. Hmm, <sighs> don't want him to fall over though either. Uh, but, there we go. Perfect. Now, we'll have him more out in the open. So. Okay. There we are. So, Reapers are now out in the open. Now, tell me these things don't look pretty. My, my mom would actually like these, not to eat, but if my mom was alive today, she'd like these just for her crafts and stuff. Because they have this beautiful color on them. And we will be eating these. And uh, like I said, I'm trying to make sure it's on the side. There we are. That's better. There we are. Look at those. Man. Reapers are very... I think they're pretty. I actually do. They're, they, they hurt. But you know what? If there's any chance that these things here can help kill cancer cells. I guess a lot of y'all don't know that. Uh, if you look up HP22B, the Carolina Reaper, okay, and a lot of you know that I lost my mom and family members to cancer, and I hate cancer with a passion, and I do a lot of stuff for stuff with cancer and everything else, but this is a superfood, and um, there's reports that it can kill cancer cells in like breast cancer, it can help different, so if you look it up and you'll notice that capsaicin in general, it's the capsaicin, it just, these have highest the highest amounts of capsaicin right now and if that's the case you know i would rather everybody know about the reaper and then so we can keep it going because if we can find maybe some cures with some regular fruits and vegetables and who knows maybe this was around many many thousands of years ago it's one reason why people didn't because they were used to it and just whoever found the right combination did a great job but Think of it like this, okay? Reapers are, uh, they've been known to kill cancer cells, or cancer stuff, especially after breast cancer and everything. And they actually use it over at the veterans' home in several medications um, for like uh, urinary problems, I think. I, you'd have to look it up, don't hold me to it. But if that's the case, you know, I really, really love the idea of these being a super food. And, um, so, like I said, if, if there's a lot of people that always ask me why I do stuff with Reapers, and and I and I like to joke around, say it's for fun and games, but you know when you've got something here, there's a possibility can eventually help with cancer, be a cure for cancer, help people with illnesses and sicknesses. Why not? You know, I mean, if I can put awareness to it and put it on there and show you guys how these things, because I know that stuff look beautiful to me. So this is. Today, like I said, it's September 5th, 2019. Look at those babies. Okay, now let's go look at the Trinidads, everybody. Let's go take a look at the Trinidads, see how the Trinidads are doing. All right. 
Trinidad's are looking great. That's got these have a little bit lower. I mean, you'd never know the difference if you're eating the two, believe it or not. But these have all that capsaicin in them also. So as you can see, I've taken off a couple. But this thing is just full of the peppers. So, and anybody that knows me knows I love doing this kind of stuff. Um, it's, it's blocking all the ones in there. It's like, no, we're not going to go get in your stomach. Get in my belly. Sorry, everybody. I'm funny when it comes to this. But these things are hot. And they are looking really, really good right now. These are the Trinidad um, Scorpion. These are the Trinidad Mar Marulas. I always say this stuff wrong. And uh, we're going to get him some water and some feed. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off that right there and let them grow out a little bit. And we're going to go from there. So, And then i got to get everything set up still. i got to do some stuff. So, all right, now let's go look at the pineapple tomatoes I got. Everybody's been curious and they've been asking me about these pineapple tomatoes. As you can see, they're still not changing color. These guys are... <laughs> Maybe they're supposed to be green. I don't know, but I cut into them and they're not ready yet. So, but these babies are beautiful. I tell you what. i never seen such a beautiful tomato before. I love it. Everybody's like, what do you do? Well, I work and I do this. And I love my garden because it's a stress release and I get away from crazy people sometimes when I get to do stuff. And um, I get to have fun with some stuff. So, that's what that is. So... We're gonna do today is I'm gonna move some railroad ties. So, okay. I guess my dad wants to help. So, anyway. 